YouTube, what's going on? As you guys know, I am at True Triz. Today, we are actually here with some new information as well as some more gameplay of the Totem of Undyne. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a full tutorial and everything you guys need to know about the Totem of Undyne and why I believe it's going to be one of the most useful tools in Minecraft, especially with the 1.11 update that just got released in the Snapchat form. So, Anyways, before we get to the video, make sure you guys go ahead and smack the like button, subscribe if you guys are new around here, because I do upload videos like this on a daily basis, and I think that this video will be quite useful for you guys. So, um, the Totem of Undying is actually classified as a combat weapon, uh, but I don't believe it's really too much used as like, a combat. You can actually use this a lot if you guys were going ahead and using your pickaxe, and you guys are chopping down... Um, some cobblestone or stone and trying to go mining you know like it actually can be used for a lot of different techniques a lot of different areas not just PvP which I think a lot of people might not understand uh, too well especially when they first get their hands on the totem of undying the totem of undying looks kind of like a voodoo ball or voodoo doll if you would say and it gives you guys a second chance a second life in the Minecraft world and I think it's really cool so I think the basic the uh, the best way for me to show it to you guys and how to actually use it in its full animation is if I actually just go up and I fly up into creative mode and then actually I'll just go like right here there we go and then I do game mode and then survival mode and once I actually switch I'll switch once I start falling to my totem of undying and then you can actually see I'll actually live so if I go ahead and switch here you can see the animation pops up and then there we have it somehow I did survive that of course it did take a lot of damage from me I don't have too much hearts but it's pretty sweet that it in fact um, went ahead and, and did that so it gives you like I mentioned before a second chance a second life if you guys believe you guys earn a second chance in your in your MC life then <laughs> definitely use a totem of undying one thing too I'm um, sure remember too which I'll do a little bit of a test for you guys I'm gonna go back into my game mode and I'll go back into creative mode and I'm gonna fly all the way up and this time I'm not gonna have the totem of undying in my hand but I'm actually gonna have it as a secondary inventory item so you guys can actually see for yourself uh, what actually happens when I don't have the totem un of undying in my hand while I'm actually like going to die so let's go ahead and do this I don't have the totem undying in my hand and I die simply because I don't have it in my actual inventory hand itself so that's always good to know if you guys are messing around with that. Um, of course, I will go back into creative mode, um, and I will go into, oops, game mode, and <clears throat> I'm gonna go back into my inventory here, and totem, and I can actually go ahead and I can throw the totem of undying in my secondary hand. So, of course, if you guys do choose to go ahead and um, Actually, I'll grab a bunch of these guys. If you actually do choose to go ahead in combat, you can throw this thing in your secondary arm, and then you can use whatever inventory item you guys want to use, whether if you guys are using a sword or if you guys wanted to use uh, actual pickaxe when you guys are actually mining. It's always, always, always best for you guys to always keep this in your inventory when you guys are in survival or doing something kind of risky. That way, when you guys encounter something crazy like this again, you go game mode, and then you go into survival and actually fall to my death and then of course the totem of undying still stays with me and I still manage to live so personally that's something very very useful for you guys to know um, always keep it in your inventory no matter what no matter if you guys are in survival if you guys are um, in creative mode or you don't really need any creative mode obviously but like if you guys are just if you're PvPing or if you guys are looking for some new inventory items mining always 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 have your totem of undying in your hand uh, just to be a hundred percent safe that it is actually working for you um, so I thought that's kind of interesting and very very useful for you guys to use of course um, there's some other things you guys should know as well too about the totem of undying um, you can always throw it into I don't know like a chest if you would say um, but <clears throat> the one thing that I would always make sure if you guys are in a PvP battle too, kind of hide it in a, in a way. Um, you can always throw it out last minute if you guys do choose to go ahead and take action in a PvP fight. But it, it's kind of important too that you guys go ahead and, and just always, always 
make sure you guys have it very very close to your inventory if you're about to die just throw it up and use it um, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go back into game mode and we're going to survival and um, <clears throat> like I mentioned before like I, the, all the demos that I've been doing so far has just been me falling to my death however there's other methods obviously if you guys go ahead and spawn some creepers out and you have the creeper blow up um, that didn't really cause too much damage but let's go ahead and I'll spawn a bunch of creepers here they're gonna keep blowing up here this guy's gonna blow up too there we go so now we just use the totem of, of um, undying in a creeper battle so like I mentioned before like it, it doesn't just do effect with um, with falling damage it's, it's for mobs blowing up creepers blowing up zombies blowing up all that fun stuff happens with the uh, the totem of undying so um, one thing too we can also check out of course is what happens if you actually go ahead and you jump into the lava um, also too doesn't matter if you guys have two totems of undying or I said I said totem of undying it sounds like some like zombie thing some totem of undying um, if I have two of them in my hand doesn't make a difference so let's go ahead and check that out here let's go jump into some lava here and let's actually see what happens, of course, if I fall and die. It looks like it does give me an extra chance. It gave me another chance, too, with the second one. So it actually gave me, if you would say, two extra chances of living with my totem. Um, of course, I'm in survival mode, so we'll see if I actually make it. We'll jump into some water here to survive, of course, from the lava because I was on fire. But that's kind of good to know. Um, the animation went off twice, so we can go ahead and go back into... Uh, create mode and we can actually go ahead and grab uh, some more totem of undying and let's go ahead and do so so totem and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put all this inventory stuff that I don't need in here uh, we will keep the bread though but I'm just gonna go ahead and grab just a ton of these guys um, and just throw them all down here so when we keep dying and we keep using these guys, we can keep switching to new ones and, and see how long we can actually last for. So let's go ahead. Now we have enough. I'm going to go ahead and throw one of these guys right away into my secondary. And then we'll throw this guy here. So let's go see how long we can actually last in lava. Uh, we kind of like a little bit of a myth busters, if you would say, of how long we can actually last. Oh, of course, I forgot I'm in creative mode. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go into game mode. Uh, survival there we go and then we jump right into here and let's see how long we actually last for us so we use one already we use our secondary one we use a third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one I mean it keeps going and going but long story short you can manage to survive in this thing I hopefully I can make it into this water real quickly but yeah dude like that's pretty crazy if you guys ask me personally I think it's really cool that we we're able to actually do this and um, it's gonna be kind of interesting. I, I know, like the the last update, especially was the whole combat update with the 1.9, uh, well, 1.9, and then there's the 1.110. But the 1.9 uh, was especially really big of the game changing in the fact of um, the whole combat feature having like a dual weapons, dual wielding, and stuff like that. But um, it's kind of interesting because these totems now are like it gives you a second chance if you guys think that. It will be kind of unfair to use these things in normal PvP mode. Uh, I guess it will be interesting if you guys have a little game mode, as mini games, using these totems. Personally, I I'm a fan of these things. I think they're cool, but I, I got a feeling they will be kind of annoying eventually. Uh, simply because I think people will kind of start seeing um, how on uh, how much of an advantage these things really give off. Especially if you guys are uh, just going ahead and. Uh, trying just to pvp like just 1v1s and stuff like that it'd be kind of kind of weird it'd be very weird so anyway it's just another another shot at it again let's go ahead and just use one at a time um we're just gonna go ahead and just burn straight through it this guy's gonna burn straight through it this guy's gonna burn straight through it burn straight through it burn straight through it and look at that we didn't even make it through all of them we actually died because we actually used two uh totems of them dying at first so that's kind of interesting too so like you might have to mess around and try different types of um, methods of using the totem of undying, but personally, I think it's kind of interesting, and um, I don't know, I like, I like it a lot. It's, it's it's a new aspect of the game that I think a lot of guys should definitely go try out, um, especially if you guys wanted to try out the 1.10 or 1.11 
I update, I keep saying zero at the end of it. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. There's a lot of awesome new features um, that I've been talking about it like in other videos and my streams before too. So definitely go check those out if you guys have not already. Also too, if you guys are new around here, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do produce some awesome content like this on a daily basis. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some more awesome new features into the 1.11 update that will soon come to Minecraft PE as well as some other versions of Minecraft. But we'll catch you guys later. Until next time, have an awesome day and remember, stay true. Peace. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications. Once you guys do that, you guys will be alerted every single time I upload. Have an awesome day. Stay true. Peace.